Hello, welcome back to BS Life. Uh, today I will be showing you um, some kind of uh, rundown or workflow uh, workflow you can actually follow. Um, basically, yeah, if you if you are doing a lot of uh, photogrammetry or three D scanning, um, this is something that you like to do. Uh, whenever you do some kind of scan, uh, you tend to end up with a lot of uh, with a mesh that's with a lot of uh, dirty vertex and yeah, you want to get rid and this is an old scan that I did using the iPad and structure sensor um, I, I look at this again on Sketchfab uh, today and I, I think I can make this better I can clean it up so that's what I did using blender and uh, this is the result it's not perfect but it's a, it's a lot better than this one of course um, and the final one actually looking something like this and this is i just upload it uh, a bit and uh, sketchfab also give you uh, new features like this uh, ground shadows it's a contact shadow that you can generate uh, procedurally so whether you want to have like a like a contact shadow or, or like a shadow catcher it's going to be generated for you uh, for uh, to present uh, on sketchfab so that's a set that's really cool so so I made this scan available for you so you can you can download it and have a play but basically um, oh, I'm gonna save this real quick I started from the model itself um, okay I already straightened it here but basically I'm gonna do it from scratch so save as this is a statue demo and you download uh, download this asset basically an obj with a with the basic textures so i think i download it here and then scan okay statue of Bot botanical garden inside the source you can get the obj just open it up okay so it it looks like this when, whenever you do 3d scanning um this day you can do 3D scanning using an iPhone like iPhone 10, 10s, 10R, and with the app, app like Scandi, Scandi Pro, you can do it with the front through that front camera. You're gonna get a scan that looks something like this. It's not properly oriented. Um, you can try to get it right, but I recommend you if you are using Blender, you go to the toggle quad view. And then from there, uh, you get this uh, top, front, right, and then the perspective. Uh, so the top, of course, uh, you don't need to worry. Normally, I, I work with the front. So with the uh, with the with the mess selected, you just tap tap R twice and then start to rotate this until you get it right. So it it needs to look right from the front, obviously. Um, I'll try to align it uh, based on this box over there and the top is pretty much it like that the right side okay I want the statue to look correct also from the right side something like this so there's uh, something some kind of uh, mesh that I look for alignment so this is already looking much better I'm gonna put it on the ground like that. So there's a, there is this part. Uh, you can see there's this part that I need to adjust later. But this should be good for now. Okay, now we can go back to the uh, normal view. Okay, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save a lot of uh, blend. So the next thing we want to do, we go to the edit mode and then look at it. Okay, we, we want to get rid of this, but we want to keep this guy. Normally, the way I do it, I select a point here and then tap L. But sometimes when you're doing 3D scanning, you get a lot of um, overlapping mesh. And then they are kind of separate plates. So in, 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 my, in this case, um, I will look find an angle where I can select this guy. So I'm gonna turn this off. So I want to be able to select 
the whole points I'm gonna hold control and then kind of lasso lasso select the mesh like that so it's selecting the mesh properly so if, if you have this turn on and then you're doing control and then select you're gonna select only that points that's on, uh, facing the camera but if you have this off it's gonna select all the points all right so something like that this is the mesh you want to keep so you, you want to invert the selection in first and then delete the rest so now it's much cleaner there's a few probably few things you want to get rid like this okay so that's looking much better already um, the ground this part at the bottom you can fix it using uh, many different way let me let me try to select the bottom part I'm selecting the edges basically let me do it properly yeah I can't select uh, like that but um, the way I fix it I'm actually using lattice so set origin to geometry first and we have this guy okay looking much better I will be using a lattice so lattice and try to fit it into the bounding box of these objects few front maybe few autographic SZ because I want to straighten straighten the bottom part Yeah, that's kind of all right. Few front and with the lattice, I want some subdivision. Okay, so now go to the front view, select our mesh, go to the modifier lattice select our lattice objects and now here I'm gonna go to edit mode and with the lattice I'm gonna tweak this until that part is correct and straighten so I, what I realized after I do a lot of scanning is that make sure you scan the the bottom the base of the the mesh that's actually a good idea um, on the same note when you're doing like figure figure drawing I remember one of the teacher told me draw the feet of the of the of your model don't just draw the head or just the body make sure they are kind of there is a uh, the base you can plant the model on the floor so uh, in this case you want to present it on sketchfab and at some point um, you want to to give it the base you, you want to put it on the ground right because with the shadow catcher especially you can control the, the placement of the objects normally at zero 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 um, yeah so let's get back to this so in blender you can see already my model actually already been cleaned up but before uh, when you if you download the original the raw version I actually clean it up by using p cloning so this tool is very very useful you, you basically go from object mode with the object selected go to the texture paint and then you can do the texture painting like let's say that, let's say you don't like this uh, this spot there you just hold control and then click and then you get rid of that so a lot of uh, things that are uh, okay this part especially I don't like that this part should be clean we try to just point um, stem clone just like in Photoshop but you're doing it in 3d uh, there there are parts where you can't clean it up because it's a uh, it's the seam but for in general even if the scan is not great for a statue like this you want to give some kind of a marble look or material look 
there's actually a technique there's a like a procedural material that you can use uh, so that you can get kind of like a marble statue look and that's looking really well usually you just want to kind of like a make it a little bit dirty like a dirty vertex and you clean up all the things that's not perfect like the green hair this is probably from the tree around the statue when I'm I was doing the scanning there is some kind of light making it look a little bit green you want to get rid of that um, so until you get it kind of nice uh, once you do the texture painting make sure that you also save it because blender doesn't auto doesn't do auto saving so this is the texture based on the 3d scan make sure you see the star make sure you save the image so once you do that it's a uh, it's you are good to go basically they are actually since we we, are, we deleted some mesh there are actually some area some texture that we don't need we need we can get rid of actually um, but anyhow for now basically from this dirty scan see all this weird stuff happening green stuff I clean it up in blender and now it's looking so much better and Sketchfab actually is not just like a, a place where you upload your model. If you're doing 3D scan, uh, you, you actually can tweak a lot in Sketchfab. Tweak the render until it looks uh, really, really nice. You can, for example, change the, the HDR image. You can, you can find the, the nicer angle for your model. I mean, I mean for the light, for the environment light. And you can tweak the, the material to your liking, like add some kind of metalness, maybe specular roughness. Of course, what I'm doing here is really a basic scan. Uh, it's not so realistic. Sometimes you want to use uh, the texture, uh, you know, just slap it into the metalness or something, or into the specular, the same textures. That sometimes that works, but if you want to do this properly, uh, make your scan looks really good. You have you you can tweak further in in Blender, like using Sculpt. Maybe sculpt your model, add some details, get rid of the holes, things like that. Um, highly recommend it. It's re it's really good practice when you are doing three D. So like this kind of imperfections, you can tweak it until you are happy. And what I really like, this is a new thing, right, in the uh, Sketchfab sh shadow, ground shadow. So I like especially the the baked ambient occlusion. That's really, really cool. It's adding this nice uh, contact shadow to your, to your 3D scan. Okay, oh, I will frame it properly and then maybe save it again anyway. I think this is much better than before, right? Publish. Uh, yes, yeah, save and publish. Basically, save setting and publish. So, yeah. So that's pretty much uh, it for this BS Life. It's very simple. You do your 3D scanning or photogrammetry, and then you do your cleanup in Blender. Clone stamp is the basic, and then orient your orient your 3d mesh properly uh, don't forget to apply Control a and apply the location rotation scale so your object is good your 3d object is good uh, it's ready to go in my case let's do one more thing file export gltf um, i'm curious if this is actually working i'm gonna show you how how i, I turn it into usdz for iphone okay so Let's save this into my GLTF folder. USDZ statue botanic. And this is gonna be a GLTF. Save it. It's gonna include the, the texture material. So GLTF, okay. And I will be needing the Python code to convert my 
GLTF into USDZ. I'm going to drop it here. You can see here GLTF being model, so that's good. Hopefully, if everything works correctly, we can get our model as USDZ. Usually, the way I do it, I just right click and then go inside that folder using terminal. And then here, um, I'm going to use this Python, GLTF, USD, and then look at how we do it. And in our case, we're just going to turn our statue into basic USDZ. So nothing really special. There is no animations, uh, nothing, no complexity. Uh, the material is just the basic base material from the scan. And there you, there you go. That's the USDZ. It's very basic, very simple. It's a, it's very clean. It's nice. It doesn't have contact shadow, but I think um, the app will make it for you. Uh, I mean, you can now send it to your friend. Just tell them, okay, I I went to the botanical garden and scanned this for you. All right, so there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.